I I do not care about anyone's good opinion enough to sit here and try to justify my medical decisions. Like people can kiss my grits on this stuff. However, I do think it's funny because everyone has this idea of of I guess like who we are and what we believe on the show. Where Kane's Kane is the closest thing to a hippie that we have on the show. He's not a hippie. Wow. Don't I'm not, I didn't say you were. I said you were like the closest yeah. thing to it. Like if you could like metal, but also have some hippie like inclinations. It. So I'm hippie adjacent. Is that what you're saying? No, because I'm not quite sure how to use it. <laughs> exactly. I don't even know. So anyway, we were like to the point where we all three were throwing hands, uh, almost ver- verbal anyway. Because all I said was, well, I've been having conversations with people and be- just because I don't want to have to deal with like any serious upper respiratory stuff. And there's some members, there is a member of my immediate family that cannot get it because of an actual like legitimate existing health issue. And then I have a parental figure who was explicitly told by their doctor because of their pre-existing health issue that they absolutely cannot get it because of their issue and the medication they're on and the interaction with protein spike. So there are instances where people just can't. And some people don't want to, and it's nobody's damn business. My gosh, people. So I was just like, you know, I'm actually, I I feel with, if, as long as more data comes out, I'll get to the point where I feel more, you know, might feel more comfortable considering it. And I was having, I mentioned this to my oldest son who, you know, people think I sit my kid in front of Fox and I'm like, this is what you think. We never actually like sat them down and, you know, I, I'm, I'm just like how I am with you guys. Like, this is this study. This is this study. This one looks good. This one doesn't, etc. People are smart, right? That's the difference between liberals and conservatives uh, or progressives, rather. Progressives don't think everyone else is smart. Where conservatives do. We trust you to make your own decisions. So, and I was mentioning this and Kane's like, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. And so then we had this, we because we were talking about vaccines. That wasn't all I said. No, I know. I didn't say that was all you said, straw man. Yeah, but what? You're <laughs> straw manning. I didn't yeah. say anything. Yes, you are. So what did, so I don't even, Steve, how did this start? Hold up, hold up. Steve. I can tell you exactly how it started. Your name is not Steve. I know, but he's Steve. not going to be able to accurately tell you. How did this start, Steve? You were listening because we were talking. I think it was just on break. You just told Kanye, hey, I'm thinking about going to get the vaccine and then Kane just blew up and crossed the room. That is that not even. <laughs> <laughs> not I didn't even, even say I, I think I said I was think I'm like coming closer to yeah, a decision. And on I it. said the fact that you have these upper respiratory issues already right. would be the reason why I wouldn't do the vaccine. Right. Because that would actually cause more inflammation and more issues. Like we've seen that we've we've seen the data on that. So that was my stance. And then you're like, oh, what are you and Jenny McCarthy friends? I was saying it jokingly. Right. By the way, but, she was always very nice to me, I have to say. Right. But there, I said there. And then Kane immediately put on no, his I, tinfoil battle helmet. <laughs> and, so basically what I said was, look, there are actual concerns over the data right. we know about vaccines. Right. The fact that the things that go in them, number one, thimerosal, which is a mercury derivative. That is a heavy metal. Can they, I just interject for a second? You grow your own scoby things? Not anymore. I haven't done that in a while. They're like I have. they look like toilet cakes or the urinal cakes, don't they? Well, but they're in tea or something. A little bit. Or yeah. juice. I don't it's really for, know what they for are. Kombucha, right? Why do you do that? What do what? Look, you act like it's weird. It's I bacteria, see that on isn't TV it? Is seeing your face. Okay. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> 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 anyway, go ahead. Sorry, yeah, I just. So, Okay. Uh, we, formaldehyde. No, we're talking about now. Now, this COVID vaccine, from mm-hmm. what I understand, doesn't have like. Well, there's several kinds. They don't have the the thimerosal in them, okay. from what I understand. But there's the other vaccines that we have for preservatives. We're using thimerosal. There's formaldehyde in these. There's other actual ingredients that are affecting people that are in vaccines, right? So the vaccine themselves, I think, are a great idea and a, a fantastic you know thing of modern medicine. But the fact that they put these other ingredients in are where the focus is for these people that are labeled anti-vaxxers. That's what they have a problem with. They have a problem with the ingredients that have been put right. in these vaccines for okay. whatever the reason be, whether it be to preserve them or longevity, whatever the case. So that's where I was coming from. And those ingredients are what also cause other health issues. Mm, I see. By the way, this is how these discussions, I just saw somebody somebody send this to me. The racist, it's a giant racist that has a bunch of different Twitter accounts, and one of their burner accounts is Dim Texans. Pretty sure they're wife beaters, too. Um, prove me wrong. 
uh, they were like, oh, her, she, she's anti-vax and her whole family are anti-vaxxers, you know, et cetera, et cetera. That's literally not even what right. any of us said. No. Why do people not like Democrats? Thank you. Exactly. Golly, can you not be stupid? Is it that difficult? <clears throat> and thank you for listening and adding to my sales. I appreciate it. Um, and then we also, we had a brief little discussion on ivermectin. Where right. I don't we, have a problem with ivermectin. Yeah, Yay! Neither do I. I was just talking about how the media and the government are pushing this idea that Steve it's did just, call it horse goo. This horse dewormer thing like it is it for horse i don't i don't care what it's for i don't really care but what it's, it's been for. on the market for humans for four decades uh it's not linked to any significant amount of deaths involved like we like way fewer than the current covid vaccine is linked okay. to so i'm just saying we have non-expensive mm -hmm. very inexpensive treatments for the symptoms of COVID. Is your issue is that it's called a vaccine when it really is kind of at this point a therapeutic that's, because that's it's not it. yeah. inoculation? Because I that's my big thing. Quit calling it a vaccine. A vaccine suggests that you're actually inoculated. Yeah. And this isn't. And I think we need to choose a different involved. word. Right. And I don't care if you want to get it or not, but when it's all when they when they go when you literally have the CDC director with her own mouth and body on camera going well it's about not really about re it doesn't stop transmissions it's about reducing severity of symptom okay that's what we call a therapeutic